put yourself in this situation. You're making a land vehicle. You know, it's a truck, it's big, it's bulky. You need to be able to control it. You've made the engine, you've made the chassis, you've made the body. What are you going to make now? Transmission. Transmission is a pain. It's always a pain. How many gearboxes do you use? What ratios do you put in? How do you order those ratios right to get the maximum amount of gears for your gearboxes? Well, I've decided that I am going to make a gearbox that does that for you. And I mean that, does it for you every time. So what I'm going to be making today is the ultimate or automatic gearbox generator, <laughs> if that makes sense. So let's get into it. So you see at the moment we've got a torque value of 1.9. It's a bit arbitrary. If I toggle this gearbox, it changes torque value. And then I can do the same with this one. Again, it's a different torque value. So again, increasing the torque. And then we can turn all these on to get a higher value. So what this means is that actually we can cycle through each configuration of a set number of gearboxes and read the torque value. And that torque value can then be used to order the configuration of the gearboxes. And so what you do from that is you then order them going from the highest to lowest amount of torque. And that orders your gear ratios. So we need to make a Lua microcontroller that automatically reads the value, pastes it to a table with the indexes of the gearboxes flipped and then organize them as a first step oh that's going to be so complicated and this this is something that is like it's going to be a fully fledged gearbox like it's not going to be like a, it tells you the ratios every time i want this to be a you plug it in you plug the gearboxes in you tell it when it's got its upshift and downshift and every single time every single time that you spawn it remakes the gear, gearbox system and does it perfectly every time. That's what I want. So the first step of this process was definitely to make a controller itself. I had to initially put in all the different gearboxes, the torque meter, but that was pretty much it for the start. But once we got that in, the coding started and the coding was difficult to say the least. What I initially started off with was a system that would create a table and then read all the different values of the torque meter based on the gear ratios that it had put in at the time. But you'll see from this upcoming, it's not that easy. You know, there's a lot of timing involved and there's a lot of different decoders and it's just horrible, but it worked eventually. Let's try that, let's see if that works. Okay, that's working, that's working. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. This is crazy. Ideally, I think what I imagine is going to happen at the start is that when you spawn it, it's going to go boom. Like it's going to have like eight ticks where it sorts itself out. And then it's like, okay, cool. I'm ready. This is going to take so long. Why am I doing this? Every time we need to cycle through, flip them if they need to be flipped, take a reading, and then set all of them to false once we've taken the reading. This is all within a tick, by the way. so this thing is not working this section here isn't working why is it suddenly not working it was maybe it's just never worked that sounds about right maybe if i get rid of those ones that are setting to false Let's see what happens get some funky numbers we get some funky numbers okay so <coughs> So what we have here is me now trying to work out how I'm going to 
time everything right and yeah i mean time everything right everything required a certain timing to work it's crazy the first two days were step one it's nuts when you think about it. like that should have been the thing that was easiest in hindsight but here we are oh progress 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 okay all right so one and two um i think we've just had a double up there maybe we need to like make it start a little bit later let's further up the text so let's see what happens no that's just made it worse that's made it worse Okay, so we need to put this on a delay. <gasps> a list of the different talk values given out. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Okay, that works. It was just timing. Let's see how fast we can get this. It's 12. Oh, that's perfect. Done. Done. Step 3. Organize the ratios in letter form based on descent of four values. Alright. Sorting algorithms. This is going to be fun. This is going to be real fun. So I'm going to spend a lot of time on sorting algorithms. Well, I'm going to have to really work on this sorting algorithm. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to think it through and try it in the morning. Day three. Here we are. So I think what is a good idea? Sort ratios equals true. We have to sort them. So this is going to be a couple nested for loops. It's going to be... A long time running but it should be okay It should be fine to do it without the copy. I think that should be fine. Let's try this. See how this goes. Oh! It did it. It did it perfectly. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. So it's organized perfectly. And then what we can do now is, in theory, we can just put another decoder in based on the gear that we want, want to be in. fine we can go into reverse doesn't do anything
<gasps> okay, so it shifts fine. It should shift down. The engine is not working as well as this experimental thing, but that works. So now we can just decode whatever that is. All right. It works. Okay. Oh, it works. It works. Oh my gosh. So if I set this to like half throttle, it should be five wheel RPS. Oh my gosh! Alright, final test. Final test. Is to change all these gear ratios. And see. My ego has grown. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Alright. Okay, so. We've successfully made. We've successfully made. A fully functioning. Fully customizable. Automatic. Automatic transmission. I don't know if I've set the um the reverse gearbox up. No, I haven't. <laughs> but if we set that up now, in fact, oh, I just haven't hooked it up in there. But we've actually gone and made a system that fully it works. We now have a gearbox that builds itself. Thank you very much for watching everyone. <laughs> oh, thank you very much for watching. It's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun to make this. I'm so glad it works. Um, this is going to be huge, I reckon, of my own vehicles especially. And I'm sure that everyone else will be wanting to use this because it's going to be so useful. Like You don't even have to make your transmission now. So... Thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.